It is the criminal underworld of the internet, a vast online marketplace where anything can be bought for the right price. It's known as the dark web. You may have heard of it before, but what exactly is it? Think of the internet like an iceberg. What sticks out over the water is the surface web, anything that can be found using a search engine, like Facebook, Twitter, and the Fox 40 website. Just underneath the water is the deep web. That's the part of the internet that needs a password to be accessed. Think medical records or emails. And lastly, at the very bottom, the dark web. It's the opposite of the surface web, a part of the internet only found by using special software, where criminal activity, like gun and drug sales, can go undetected. Tonight's Fox 40 special report will dive deeper into the dark web and show you why it can be so dangerous even if you've never been there. Just below the surface of the internet is a world where criminal activity thrives. Drug dealers, illegal arms dealers, prostitutes, even hitmen are waiting inside a hidden black market known as the dark web. Just about every type of crime imaginable potentially exists and has been seen on the dark web. It's a place where everyone's identity is concealed. Every message is encrypted. It's dangerous and unregulated. Dark web exists and it's evil people who decide to use it for evil means. Detective Sean Smith and Matt Doe work in the High Tech Crimes Task Force for the Sacramento County Sheriff's Department, hunting cyber criminals who hide in the dark web. From a secure computer, the detective showed us just some of the illegal items up for sale on the dark web. And you can see that you've got the type of gun and then the exchange rate. They want the uh, payment here in Bitcoin. Guns, drugs, stolen driver's licenses, stolen credit cards. The ID theft and financial related crimes related to identity theft are definitely a huge huge problem in the greater Sacramento region. On the dark web, a stolen credit card can go for around $15. It'll have the card number, it'll have expiration dates, um, and a lot of them are now geolocated to specific areas. So if you wanted to buy credit cards specifically for the Sacramento area, you can do that. A social security number, birth date, and full name of someone who has a low credit score can sell for up to $80. And because of the anonymity of the dark web, it's nearly impossible to find the criminals who are selling these items. The way that we normally catch the user is the end user. Um, so it's, we're going to be catching the guy that's out using the credit cards in the Sacramento area. It's because of the way that the dark web is set up, it's designed to be anonymous. So to actually track someone through it is very, very difficult. A growing challenge for law enforcement nationwide who are constantly chasing criminals in this web of networks. Today the Department of Justice announces the takedown of the dark web market Alpha Bay. Last summer they got a break. Alpha Bay, a massive international criminal marketplace, was shut down by the feds. This is the largest dark market web place takedown in world history. It was an eBay of sorts for criminals run by a man in Thailand. In just two years, the site logged more than $2 billion in transactions and hosted more than 200,000 users. A dark web empire taken down only after the administrator accidentally broadcast his personal email address, allowing investigators to track him down. You have some people that don't have any experience with it, um, and a lot of those people we do catch because they do make mistakes. But not everyone who uses the dark web uses it for illegal activity. I found a fascination with, you know, just what's behind the bill of the internet services. This man asked us not to reveal his identity. He surfs the dark web, looking for information on how investigators catch cyber criminals. But he says the dark web has a good side, too. There are good, great benefits, such as um, there are other people in different countries who don't have uh, the freedom of speech, where they'll go on, actually, and be able to just contact, connect with their families or contact other people. But here's the lesson for most of us. The amount of information that is on the dark web and is easily downloadable, you may not be dealing with it directly, um, but your information might be on there where somebody could be selling your information. Detectives say you need to protect yourself and your identity, monitor your accounts, check your credit report, use strong passwords, and change them often. Easy steps to follow to keep your personal information out of the wrong hands. So when you hear about the dark web, it's typically linked to crime, but this part of the internet was actually developed by the government. Back in the 1990s, the U.S. Navy needed a way to send secret communications that couldn't be intercepted, so they created the dark web. To learn more, head to our website, fox40.com, and search dark web. Fairfield police are looking for a murder suspect tonight. Officer